is your problem, Turuko? Are you irritated by our father? Is he smelling? What exactly is your problem? We came into this world and met him like this. So why are you here acting as if you're new to his condition? After all, he didn't call you to come here and keep him company. So if you're not comfortable here, you can as well get out. Get out! Will you shut up your dirty mouth, you fool? Who do you think you're talking to? Are you mad? You are an imbecile. And if I don't shut up, what do you think you can do? Are you serious right now? Yes, I'm serious. I, I don't know. I, I, you are the one that is insane. You, think you're talking you to are mad. So, look at you. You should be ashamed of yourself. You came here to ridicule our father. Look at you. You are the one that is smelling. You're mad. You are stupid. You are mad. You have gone bonkers. Look at this boy breath that can't even wash her on this very well. Bring out your underwear. Let me smell it. You're the one that is smelling. You are here to ridicule our father. How dare you? you? You should be ashamed of yourself. Our father is clean. He takes care of himself. He has maids and guards to take care of him. He takes his bath three times every day. We have maids, guards everywhere. They are always in this room, taking care of this room, cleaning, washing, and mopping this place. This room is always clean, always sparkling, always fresh. Deodorant is always in this room since we were born. So what exactly is your problem? What is your problem? Don't ask your problem. stupid question. What is your problem? And here's it. Is this room smelling? So what is your problem? What is your problem? What is your problem? You imbecile. You should go and take your bath. You are smelling. You are the you one, are the one smelling. that is smelling. You are oh, smelling. Sprite brat that can't even wash her body very well. Look, you. You. Look at you, delight. Father, she's the one looking for a fight. Give it to me. Give me. Don't that. you dare touch me. And don't you dare so point at me, imbecile. Hey, Father, you better talk to your daughter. Talk to this daughter of yours because the next time she disrespects me, I am going to skin her alive. What do you think you can do? I will skin her alive. alive. Who is giving you the you morale? Fool. Like this. Skin me alive. Like this. My Who princesses. Who is giving you the morale? Who told you that you can skin me alive? My princesses, it's time for His Majesty to take his sacred bath. Please. Can you leave? Fool. You're the bigger fool, imbecile. My princess, please. Father, please. I'm sorry about what happened. I mean, I couldn't stand her. Please, I, I, I didn't mean to disrespect you like that. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. Please, it won't happen again, I promise. Have a good night rest. May the angels guide you.
You will not die this way. You will not go this way. Father, I am here for you. Let me be your life, your strength, your everything. I love you so much, Dad. Please, don't leave us. I love you. Don't worry. Everything will be fine. Everything will be fine. Monday, son. Mother had a horrible dream. A horrible dream? Yes. It was so real. My father wanted to kill himself. But I intervened. He wanted to jump into Ujumi River. I stopped him. Mother, there is trouble in the land. I need to go back to Asia Mubu Kingdom. My father will be happy to see me. I really need to go back to my fatherland. Why here? Hmm? Hi! The corner I become sure to do. What am I going to do to you? Right? Okonta! Okonta, what brought you to my house this morning? And besides, I saw you talking from both sides of your mouth. 
Is it not too early for you to be drunk now? Oh. Eh? Must you drink every day, Ukonta? Ha 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 let me tell you. If you like, give me another pound wine to replace this one. Bam! I will take it. But you cannot stop me from telling you the truth. See, if you like, avoid everybody. If you like, avoid the truth. Oh no, but you cannot avoid the doom that is coming to you and your household. Yes, am I afraid of you? Eh? Blind oh no, eh? come and beat me now. Am I afraid of you? Cut away you. What are you talking? What am I talking about? Hmm? Did you do to counter? Hmm. Okonta, mm -hmm. why are you insulting my husband? Uh -huh. Did he offend you? Exactly! That is the question. Yes! He has offended everybody. Mm -hmm. See, I was supposed to come here two days ago. But I went to my maternal home for a burial. No, eh, eh, what am I talking about? I went for a burial ceremony. See! You need to see Kubana's twin brother. Cha! See money raining. See money everywhere. Eh? I took pound wine that I passed out. Passed in. And passed away. Must you continue to drink? They are naked. Hmm? Wars of, of drunks are not taken seriously. Just like wars of madmen. As he's trying to say this one, he will talk about the other one. Oh no, God bless my mother's people. Yes. See, let me tell you. If you like, say Okonta is a drug. You see this, your virgin daughter. That is looking at me. What did I say? Your virginia. Oh no, you know, virgins are supposed to be like this. I am talking of your daughter who is a virgin. Don't go there. Oh no, listen to me. Don't interrupt me before I, I change my mood. Oh no, you don't know who is petting your back. No, you carry clay pot and put on white cloth up and down. Eh? You. Let me advise you eh? that the palace is not pleased with your sacred duties. Just go there, do your work, and go back home. Clear? Because eh? ha! you're a lifeline to the Igwe. But if you pretend to be intact, I mean intact. Hi! Ha ha ha! and Amadioha together. What am I talking about? No. Ojomi and Amadioha in collabo. <laughs> we fire. What are they firing? What am I talking about? They will kill you. Yes. Oh no. I'm going. Oh no! And I'm. Um, we move. We move. Oh, We move. Oh, Muru, okay. Look at him. Did you hear what he said? Did you hear him? Who? What who said? What a almost like a madman said. This man has a scattered head. He's all coordinated, so he cannot say anything reasonable. So let's go ahead and celebrate what happened. Don't mind the contact. He's a drunk. Mm. Mm.
Adora, what are you doing with Princess Turugo? Mama, I'm not doing anything with the princess. I'm not doing anything, anything with Princess Turugo. I hope you heard what Okonta said. Okonta might be drunk and silly, but the gods might also be using him to send strong message. Better tell me the truth now. Better tell me the truth now. What are you doing with Princess Turugo? Mama. What? Mama, honestly speaking, I'm not, I'm not doing anything with the princess. She only likes me, that's all. Mm. I, I don't understand why you're pestering. Ah, you don't understand why I'm pestering? Yes, Mama. I'm not pestering you, eh? Okay. Are you a virgin? Are you still a virgin? Mama. Are you still a virgin? Answer me! Now listen, I don't understand you anymore. If you don't tell me the truth, I might commit something. In fact, I might commit a sin here. Tell me the truth. Are you still a virgin? Mama. I don't trust you anymore. I don't. Even one bit, I don't trust you. Follow me. I want to go and check you. Mama. Now follow Mama, me. I don't know that this, this stuff is painful. Mama, I don't like this thing you're doing. You know? It's not fair. I don't like it. I don't even want to do what you like. Follow me. I want to go and check you. I no longer believe you. You want to put this in my mouth? Mama, I don't know. Mama, this is not fair. It's Are not fair. Are you following me now or not? Mama, I don't like this thing that you're doing. No, this is not fair. I want to go and check you. Have you thought deeply about my offer? No, my queen. You're a fool. Enise, what is your price? I am ready to give you more than my previous offer. I can make it 20 million, 30 million, 40, just name your price. You know I'm capable of doing anything. Name your price. My queen, I just want his majesty to live forever. How dare you mock me? How dare you mock me? Are you mad? Do you know who you're talking to? What is there? What is there to just kill an imbecile? What is there? You bloody fool. Now get out! Stop! If anyone hears our conversation, I'll kill you. You understand? Okay, my queen. Get out! Shut out! Do you know why I'm doing all of that for you? Like giving you gifts and showing you love? No, my princess. Well, that's because um, that's because you are my friend. Mm? And oh, chess first, baby. Chess. <laughs> yeah, it's a friendship. And aside being my friend. You are a loyal person. I mean, your services to my father in this palace, it's undeniable. And then the way you go about carrying on with your duties, you know, it's admirable. <laughs> Thank you, my princess. Ah, you're welcome. 
you are a virgin and I'm glad because that your virginity is of utmost importance to my father, His Royal Majesty. Wow. <laughs> Let me ask you this question. I mean, if you don't mind me asking. This is me just being curious, okay? What are the consequences of His Royal Majesty not taking a spiritual bath? I'm, I'm sorry, my princess. You know, I'm not meant to disclose some sacred information to anyone. Ringo, see, it's really nothing, okay? I was just asking you because we're friends and as friends, um, for more. Go on, go on. <laughs> as my friend, we're just having a conversation and I just thought I should know out of curiosity. Well, it's okay if you don't want to talk about it, trust me, it's fine, okay? It's really nothing. It's nothing. It's okay, trust me, it's. I mean, this is us just being friends, right? Mm? <laughs> Am I right or wrong? <laughs> good. Right. That means we're good, right? I'm so sorry. I mean, if you do not want to talk about it, there's no pressure whatsoever. I'm not going to force you to say what you don't want to say, okay? This is us just having a conversation as friends. And that's it. You know, it's amazing. Like, you know, you being a virgin and not eating certain kind of food and participating in some social activities. I mean, I, I, don't get me wrong. I admire it. Absolutely. Are you alright? Um, <laughs> everything going okay? You want some more drink? Drink up, darling. Drink it up. Drink up. <laughs> yes, darling. No, it's okay. Drink up, let's go. Come on, it's nothing. Just finish it up, let's go. Drink up, drink up, let me take you home, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Go, 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 go. Mmm, aha, uh -huh. that's it. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Oops. Now and fast. Okay, my princess. No mistakes. Okay? okay? Yes, my princess. No mistakes. Yes, my Okay? Yes, my princess. Look, Adora. Adora, I'm, I'm, I'm talking to you. Hmm? Look at me. I promise you, I am going to find that person who did this to you. Hmm? It is a promise. I am going to do everything within my power to make sure that I find that person, even if it's the last thing I do. Okay? I promise you. It's a promise I'm making to you today. Alright? Alright? Okay. Um, are you still bleeding? No, my princess. Okay. But I'm very weak. I can no longer come to the palace anymore. My service is over. Yeah. <laughs> my princess, my mother will kill me. My father will disown me if he finds out that I was raped in the palace. They warned me. They want me to stay away from you. My princess, why? Why would you have to do this to me? Uh, Adora, what do you mean what do you mean by that? Why 
why I did this to you. Like, you seriously think this is intentional? I mean, come on. This was unintended. I mean, how, how can I just deliberately want to hurt you? You're my friend. You're my friend and I'm not capable of, of, of such. Okay, please. I did nothing to you. All right, it was, it was a mere accident. It was unintended, never on purpose. I didn't plan this. I feel bad for you myself, quite frankly. Please, just calm down. I know how you feel right now, but pull yourself together. And as for your services in this palace, come on, whoever told you it's over. I mean, it's not. Nobody has to know. Do you want to go about telling everyone that you're no longer a virgin? I mean, you wouldn't want to do that to yourself. You don't need to tell anyone about it. Just keep pretending to be the virgin that you have always been. And that's it. And you can continue to perform your duty to my father. And nobody will find out. Sooner than later, everything will work out itself. I am going to find whoever is behind this. I already promised you that and I'm repeating it. I will find the person. My princess. Yes. His majesty will die. His body will get rotten if I do so. I am disqualified. I am no longer worthy to fetch the sacred water anymore. <laughs> look, look. Adora, Adora, chill up, okay? His majesty will not die, all right? I mean, how can you be so gullible? They just put all of the stories in your head to make you feel some sort of way. That's not true. Listen to me. Those are mere superstitions. They are mere beliefs, all right? You continue to pretend to be the virgin that you were and everything will be fine. Is that okay? Hmm? Look. Here. Here. Hmm? This is for you. Okay? Keep this to yourself. Alright? Look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Come on. Keep this to yourself. Tell no one about this. Okay? Whatever happened today, Adora, come on. I need you to pay attention because it's very important so you don't go ruining everything. Whatever happens today stays with us. I mean, you and I, all right? Everyone has got their own secrets. I mean, little secrets. This is our own secret. Hmm? Say this to no one, all right? All right? Do you, do you, look, look at me. Do you understand me? Hmm? Yes. Say this to no one. Yes. Okay. Chin up, wipe your tears. Hmm? You go now. The guards will come pick you up for your next. Hmm? For your next duty to my father. Okay. Okay. All right. Um. Don't forget. Don't tell anyone about this. Or do you understand? Do you understand? Adora, stop crying. Do you understand? Yes. All right. Mm? You take care. Chin up, chin up, chin up, chin up. Good. Mm -hmm. Good girl. Wala 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 Better future. Cheers, yes. mommy. <laughs> <laughs> it can only get better. Mm, better. Yeah. Bro. Mm. Yeah. Mother. Mm. Everything went according to plan. Mm -hmm. Goodness, you needed to have been there. Mommy, she was crying like a baby. Mm. Oh, mm. I'm doomed. 
Mm. My own is finished. Mm. I'm no longer a virgin. Mm. His body will get rotten. Mm. He's gonna die. Mm. <laughs> like seriously, who cares? <laughs> Isn't that a mission? My beautiful sister. Brotherly. Ever dazzling. Brotherly. I knew I could always count on you. I know, right? <laughs> For a job well done, I am going to give you a remarkable reward. Mm. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Finally, we made it. We made it. Wow. I think another two stars. We made it. 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 Bro, <laughs> take it. Mm. Oh. You sent for me, my princess. Yes, I did. In Yeze. My princess. Have you noticed the difference in the king's skin recently? It's peeling. What could possibly be the reason for that? I really don't know, my princess. Okay, I want you to send a word to Dr. Philip. You should come immediately and check what the problem is. Okay, okay my princess. Urgently, oh, please hurry. Okay, my princess. I have prayed for His Majesty. Mm hmm. It's not supposed to be a big deal. Isn't that why you're here? Or you expect us to... Someone else be speaking. I'm sorry, my prince. But it's my duty to pray for the quick recovery of His Majesty. His skin is deteriorating. And Dr. Philip cannot find any solution to this new development. It's a great concern to the church and the kingdom at large. Father, thank you. You have not done anything bad praying for our Father, His Majesty. As you all know, his condition is beyond medical treatment. So he needs all the prayers he can get at this time. Pastor Delight, no one is asking you not to pray for him. All right? You are not the only daughter that he has. Besides, we're all praying for him in our own ways. Dear sister, <laughs> nobody is stopping you from praying for our father. I mean no harm, okay? <sighs> father, like I said before, thank you for praying for our father. Continue to say those prayers and book mass for him, for his quick recovery. It's all right. Um, I think since this sickness has defied every orthodox medical treatment, I will now proceed to invite him by the great traditional healer yes. into this situation. Yes. Invite another God. We already have someone here. His God has not been able to heal our father. And then you want to bring in another God. Huh? Oh no. Mm -hmm. My prince, you don't seem to understand my motive. We're all on the same page. Yeah? Go ahead and say your prayers where I go traditional way. Yes. Yes. I know it never fails us. And then make my palace a war front, a battleground, clash of gods. You come with your god, he comes with his. Do not say anything again. Next, please. Jamiki. Huh? Why am I having this feeling about you not interested in making sure His Majesty bounces back to his feet? My goodness. Just when you are given an opportunity to make sense, you sound baseless. You are stupid in the head. Who the hell do you think you are? Eh, Jamiki? Who raised you? Excuse me. How dare you open your mouth to utter such stupid utterance? How dare you? Why what? Is? 
but it's okay. Jamika, please, I will not have you speak to my mother like that. No, it's time. okay. Don't try it. It's mother okay, everybody, it's okay. So calm down. Seat. Calm down. Let's wait. Let's wait. Don't try it again, again Jamika. Don't uh, ever. Oh no, I think you have to question your daughter, Adora. Yes, you have to question her purity. Ojumi River is a healing river. It cures all kinds of skin irritation and even leprosy. So why is it that the water that's supposed to make His Majesty whole is now causing damage and pains, not just pains. On AC can be. Oh yes, oh yes. There must have to be a way that the water entered the coconut. Mm -hmm. Something is definitely wrong somewhere. Huh? No. Oh my dear, a bad minister by No, do the not. Do the needful. Yes or no? You have to do the needful. Ask questions. Hmm? Let us go. I know. You can't see what I'm doing. How would I warn you never to set foot into this palace again? Praise Jamie again. Point of correction. High tension! Prince, high tension. May I remind you that I am a priest of God, ordained in the order of Melchizedek by the Roman Catholic priesthood. It is bad in the sight of God and man that a mere mortal like you will confront a harmless priest in a reckless manner. What is the problem? Does my coming to the palace cause you any harm? Or do you just hate me for no reason? Is it possible for you to just shut up? Is that you violate my rule? I said, do not set foot into this palace again. Yeah. As if that is not enough, you call me reckless. Tell your God that you are not welcome into this palace. I will not warn you again. Young man, I've been part of this palace before you were born. When your mother was just a palace maid. There is some truth you need to know. <sighs> Honestly, you have gods. You stand before me, insult my mother that she was once a maiden in this palace. Now get out. He's a naked warrior, but who yes, are you? Who are you? Call him Prince High yes. Tension. Prince High Tension. Uh huh. Prince High Tension. Oh go, oh go. Prince High Tension. I say it again. Prince High Tension. Oh na fa. Prince High Tension. Clear the way for him. Mora, you go. The frequency is high. He want to be the king by all means. He want
Adoro. Are you still a virgin? Answer me! Or have you suddenly become deaf and dumb? Papa, I do not understand what you're saying. Adora, a kadikachisike. Are you still in the state of purity? Now, what kind of question are you asking her? If she is not, we should be performing her duty to His Highness. That is it, woman. That is the problem. The water she fetches has become poisonous to the king's body. If you doubt it, go to the palace and see the king. See the state of his health. My daughter, what happened? Mama, I don't know. I have been performing my duty. Besides, I know the consequences if I, if I do anything stupid with my pride. Good! You know the consequences. But before then, I bet you, if I found out that you are losing for the rest in the palace, I will behead you and bury your body behind the backyard. Nay, how could you say a thing like that? God forbid, not my daughter. Then one her to know what to do now. I will not spare her. But she said I will not spare you. Get out of here. Hey. The Adora. You are still a virgin, right? Yeah, yes, Mama. Haven't you confirmed it yourself? Dr. Philip invited him to the hospital. So, who else is aware that he is sick? His Majesty, my prince. So, aside my father, no one knows about his illness. Yes, my prince. Excuse us. I'm sorry. 
sorry. Says his majesty is sleeping. Sleeping with his eyes open. Mm. This can be good. Father. 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 Me half Her voice is getting louder. I think all is not well with my father. Excuse me? What are you doing? You can't ruin this moment. What's your problem? My father, your husband, might be dead and you don't care? Really? We all die someday. Come back here. Excuse me. Wait, Ezefa, wait! Behold the new king. Behold Igwe Jamiki. Alfred Ezeka the third. Mm. Mission accomplished. Great! It has finally happened. I heard it loud and clear. Hey! Igwe Zeka, nah. It's your hand. Don't conclude yet. Let us go to the palace and see what is happening. Yes. But we all heard the Ikoro. 
You can't be very sure. He might wake up again. Let us go. Let's go at once. Ha! Huh? 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 Me, Jay! Hey! Me! Nietzsche! Why are they running like a mountain of fire? No, uh, there is fire on the mountain. Eh? Useless cabinet members. Eh? Look at them. Uh, am I even calling them cabinet? Look at their uniform like ritualists. Uh, no, God, God this. What am I talking about? Eh? I personally told the Igwe by writing eh, that he should make me the only owner and his confidant. No, they did not even reply. Did they reply me? What am I talking about? Eh? They will just hear the Ikoro and they will be running, running katakata. They can't even drink water and drop cup. Look how the thing goes. Eh? Useless cabinet members. Thank God you're not even going my way. Rabbit! Hey, you keep running! Keep running! Thank God you're not running towards my direction. Not quite long we left the palace. Now, look at what we have come to see. Hmm. Well, hey, yes, sir. Oh, no. Please tell us. How did it happen? Oh, no, I was not in the palace when it happened. According to Ikenna, the guard in his chamber. His Majesty slept, but couldn't wake up. Princess Delight and Dikenna try waking him, only to discover him dead. Hey! of the Lord be upon you all. Why the Ikoro sound? Mm. The Ikoro. Oh, How can you find it? Ikoro is a card the second of the Zyamoku kingdom. It's no more. Huh? Father Dinklan, your friend is gone. <laughs> You are free to go in and pray for his soul. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You want him to go disturb the dead? Hey, I understand that your God is everywhere. Stay right there and pray for him. <laughs> Jamika, you don't have the right to tell the priest where to pray from. Just like you don't have the freaking right to talk back at me. I am still the first child of this family. Let me tell you, bro. You might be the first son, but you're not yet the king. So stop getting over your head. What is going on here? Father Declan, you are free to go in and see your dead friend, His Majesty. Father, well, I'm not trying to oppose you, but why would you want to disturb the dead? Father, just let us mourn in peace. I just lost my father. I'm pained. I'm so broken. Just let me mourn my father in peace, please. Do not give me the impression that you people gladdens in our pain. Enyeze. Yes, Lolo. As the wife of His Majesty, Igweze Katu of Eziamakuku Kingdom, I command you to take Father Declan to go see the remains of his bosom friend. Let me see who will intercept my order. Okay, Lolo. Mm. Father. Mm. He's going, he's going to 
The prince might wait our away again. Sure. Let's wait and see. Prince Jamike is frustrated. He wants to be the Iwe by all means. <laughs> Father, oh, my father, I can't believe this. Because you see, mm. I wish he knows what we know. Prince, have an We give him the shock of his life. You know. Mm -hmm. So life is so short like this. Hmm. I'm certain His Majesty has not told them about Uju and his son. I can't believe that he is gone. Oh, my father. Oh, my father. <laughs> Just yesterday, I gave you the same warning. What are you doing here? My son. I! I! Are you not your son? What are you doing here? You can't exempt me from the palace. My bosom friend, your father, the ego of Ezeamoku Kingdom, is resting with his ancestors. And you want to restrict me? From praying for his soul? I see you're one of the fools working tirelessly to frustrate me from my dreams of becoming the next king of his Yamoku kingdom. Let me warn you for the very last time. You are treading on the wrong part. Priest, be careful. I can see that the truth is hidden from you. I want you to remember Excuse me. Why this game? Let this be the last time he sets foot into this palace. Have I made myself clear? Yes, my prince. Good. Yeah, 
Yeah, we're looking.